there was a nun who was searching for enlightenment and she made a statue of Buddha and covered it with gold leaf. She thought it was really uh, quite wonderful. And she carried the Buddha with her wherever she went. She had a little altar and she put the Buddha in. And she did this for years. So <clears throat> she finally went to a, a small temple and apparently there were a number of Buddhas around. Each of them had a little, bit, a little shrine. Well, this nun had been offering incense to her Buddha for years. And when she got to this place where there are lots of Buddhas, she was thinking, I want to make my incense offering, my dedication to my Buddha, to this golden Buddha that I've held for so many years. And so she made a little funnel and would funnel her incense directly into the, uh, the little portable altar and onto the Buddha. And after she did this for a number of years, the Buddha ended up with a, a big black nose, making it especially ugly. So it's interesting, a story like that <clears throat> about self-centeredness, about greed, about the gaining mind, someone who makes something and thinks, this is so precious, I did this, I want to hang on to it, I want to grow it, I want to keep it. And a fundamental teaching of Dharma is grasping creates suffering, clinging creates suffering. So we can have something that is beautiful, that's exquisite, but as soon as the mind gets in there and says, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want to keep it, I want to preserve it, I want to... then things begin happening, we begin building up, we begin protecting, we begin defending. And we can turn what was fresh and new and bright into something that has to be locked up and hidden in order for it to be safe. So we have the ability to turn beautiful things into ugly things. We have the ability with our own mind and the, our view of the world to see it as clear and bright or to see it as dark and dim and destructive. And the difference is grasping. I want, I want, I want. Just noticing that is the entrance gate to liberation. <clears throat>